Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an updated fragrance wish list. I've had quite a few people ask if I could share fragrances that I'm planning to buy or which ones I really want to smell or explore in the future. And I have some that are already on their way to me in the mail and I won't share all of those with you because I want to leave some of them a surprise but I will share with you a couple that I do have coming that I'm really excited to try out and there's going to be a lot more of them for October so definitely keep your eyes peeled you guys. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what my wish list is, then stay tuned. Okay, so number one on my wish list is House of Sillage. These are a little bit expensive. These are the cupcake fragrances that have the Swarovski crystals adorned all over them. Each cupcake just looks like a work of art in and of itself. And there's a few specific scents that I wanted to try. One of them is Benevolence. I understand that one is a bit of a gourmand fragrance. Um, I also would like to try Cherry Garden. I've heard, heard really good things about that one, but I'm not a huge fan of cherry specifically. Um, so that's one I'd have to definitely smell before I buy. The only issue with House of Siage is that they don't ship to Canada. I cannot get my hands on House of Siage no matter how hard I try. I would really like a House of Siage sample kit or discovery set or something like that before I make my purchase. But um, that being said, I can't purchase them anyway because <laughs> I don't know where to find them. So... If you guys are from Canada or even if you know anything about House of Siage, please let me know down below how I can get my hands on some House of Siage fragrances. Another house that I really want to explore is Bond 9. And I don't know if it's just the bottles or the name or something about it I find really appealing. I've had quite a few subscribers also ask me if I could review some Bond 9 fragrances. And again, unfortunately, I have not smelled any of them. I don't live anywhere near where I can go and actually just smell these. But if you guys have any Bond fragrances that you feel, based on my taste, would be pretty safe blind buys, please let me know down below because I'm dying to get my hands on one. And I just haven't really bit the yet because of the price point and the fact that it's such a huge gamble yeah definitely let me know if you guys have any suggestions for bond nine for me next we have another higher end house which is amouage and there's a couple from amouage that i'm kind of tempted to just buy and forget about even smelling them beforehand one of them is sunshine woman but i have heard mixed reviews like most people seem to really like sunshine but if you look on fragrantica there's a couple of comments there that said people were quite underwhelmed or that they didn't care for the tobacco note and i guess everybody is different but i really like tobacco um specifically they said it's a white tobacco so I'm hoping or thinking that I would really like Amouage Sunshine. And the other one that I'm kind of interested in is Lilac Love. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Melissa Jean. I will put a link to her channel down below. She is another fragrance reviewer on YouTube. And she spoke about Lilac Love um, a little while back. And ever since she mentioned it and showed me the bottle and then I looked up the notes, I kind of became obsessed with it. And it has been on my wish list ever since. I really just need to bite the bullet and just buy an Amouage to add to my collection. The next house that I want to explore is BDK Parfums. So obviously Demi Rawling did a video about BDK and that was really the first time I'd heard about the company. Um, and there's a couple specific fragrances within the house that I would really like to try and those are Rouge Smoking and Gris Charnel. Gris Charnel gets really good reviews and a lot of hype all over social media. I think that one often is sold out in different platforms that I've seen. But I'm very reluctant to go ahead and just blind buy Rouge Smoking and Gris Charnel because I have been burned in the past by purchasing fragrances that had a ton of hype and being really, really let down when I got them. So I'm really reluctant to just go out and blind buy them. So if you guys have any commentary about BDK parfums, also please let me know down below. And if we have similar taste, please let me know if you think that would be a good blind purchase for me. Next we have Kayali Fragrances from Huda Beauty. So this is another really highly requested one. A lot of my um, viewers and subscribers have been asking me to review the Kayali Fragrances. And trust me, I've had Kayali on my wish list for quite a while now. I love the bottles. I think that the musk one would be really nice. I think the vanilla one would be amazing. Um, but I've also heard good things about the Elixir one. And citrus for me can kind of be um, hit or miss. So I do want to try that one, but I don't want to blind buy it. So I actually do have a discovery set of Kaali coming and it should be here in the next week or two so keep your eyes peeled for that I will be reviewing those fragrances for you guys and I'm so so pumped um, I didn't want to just go ahead and buy a full bottle without trying all four of them I also want to get my nose on some of the new Scandal fragrances from Jean-Paul Gaultier. So I had the original Scandal and I liked it quite a lot, but I found that the honey was a little bit too much for me. It was too strong and the honey mixed with the beeswax 
it just, it was a little bit suffocating for me. I found it to be just a little too powerful. And I have heard really good things about Scandal, um, Scandal by Night, which I don't have access to. The only one that we have where I live is the original Scandal and the So Scandal. And I don't care for the So Scandal. I think that one's a little too sweet. It's just not my taste. So I really want to try the Scandal by Night as well as the Scandal Perry. And I, I'm tempted to blind buy one of them, but I'm hoping that we just get them in my local store in the future so that I can put my nose on them first. The next line that I'm interested to check out is the exclusive line from Narciso Rodriguez. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that I love Narciso Rodriguez. That is probably my second or third favorite fragrance house behind Chanel and Dior. I love Narciso fragrances. And I also love a really nicely done musk. And I can just imagine how good his exclusive line would be considering how much I love um, just his regular line. However, again, these fragrances are not ones that I have access to. I cannot go smell them. I have to search out some decants or I have to blind buy them. So, And they're quite expensive. Again, these ones are like 265 Canadian. So they're kind of an expensive gamble. The bottles look amazing. Um, I would like to smell all of them and I am just dying to see how, how nice those fragrances are in comparison to the original ones. Another exclusive line that I want to check out is Chanel's exclusive line. So again, I don't live anywhere near where I can go and smell these. Um, hopefully one day I will be in, one day soon I will be in a Chanel boutique so I can go head over to the fragrance section because last time I was near a Chanel boutique I just didn't have the same desire to explore fragrances the way that I do now. So I really didn't go that direction. I kind of went more toward the handbag direction. <laughs> um, so I really want to check out Beige. I've heard so many good things about that one but again I don't want it to be one where I'm super hyped up and then I blind buy it and I don't love it as much as I thought that I would especially for the price. If you guys have any suggestions about the exclusive line from Chanel that I should check out, please let me know in the comments below. The next one that I really want to bring into my collection is a specific fragrance, and this is Eccentric Molecules, Molecule 01. So nothing new, actually super popular, super hyped up, everybody talks about it. I haven't had the chance to smell this one yet. I did have a decant coming, and unfortunately that order of decants did not make it. I don't know what happened to it, and then I moved. So I did blind purchase this, and I have it on the way in the mail. So as soon as I get that one, I will be reviewing it for you guys. I'm super excited to see what all the hype is about apparently it just smells really like not much but also a little bit like pencil shavings and apparently a lot of people are anosmic to it and I just have to see what all the hype is about and I'm really excited to try wearing it and just see how I like it it seems like a really interesting um, kind of a fragrance and I'm just so pumped to get it so hopefully it's here later this week the next thing that I want to do is go back to a Jo Malone boutique or store and actually smell all of the Jo Malone fragrances from A to Z. So the last time I was in a Jo Malone boutique was actually not even two years ago, but at the time I wasn't as into perfumes as I am now, and I just wasn't in the market to buy a new one. But I think that because I've gotten so much more interested in fragrances and of course now this is like something that really excites me, I think I would have such a different appreciation for going back and smelling all of the different Jo Malone fragrances. Um, and I also don't want to blind buy Jo Malone. It's very expensive. I've heard that they don't have great performance for the price. And at the same time, I know there's some that are incredible. I've definitely smelt some on my boyfriend, for instance, that were great for lasting power. And I really just want to go back and pick a Jo Malone fragrance specifically for myself that I picked out from a batch not a blind buy. I'm really excited to go back to a Jo Malone boutique as soon as these borders are open. And the last specific line that I want to go check out is all of Tom Ford's private collection. So I have been to a Tom Ford counter before, but like I said, back in those days, I wasn't as interested in fragrances as I am now. And I would really like to go back and revisit some like the Effing Fabulous and the Tobacco Vini and Vini Fatale. I love Vini Fatale actually. There's quite a few that I would love to just go back and get my nose on a second time. I've also heard that some of his newer ones like Bitter Peach have had mixed reviews. I've heard that the Rose Prick has not very good long longevity so I'd really like to go and give those a try for myself and see if there's any that I would like to bring into my collection. I certainly don't want to blind buy Tom Ford private line fragrances. They are just too expensive to take that kind of a gamble.
And the last thing that I want to explore is more niche houses in general. There are so many niche fragrances out there, it's hard to know where to begin when you look at a decant website or when you look online. I think there's literally thousands of them. So if you guys have any great suggestions for houses that you think I should specifically check out, please let me know down below because I definitely need some guidance in this area. And um, yeah, I just want to explore a lot more niche. I'm really finding that designer fragrances don't always do it for me these days. I feel like there's so many repeats and so many people talk about the same ones over and over and I definitely want to bring a little bit more uniqueness and variety into my fragrance life. And that is it for the fragrances that I want to get my nose on or actually specifically buy. And like I said, I do have quite a few fragrances coming into my collection for the month of October. And I'm very excited to get all of them and talk about all of them with you and share my experiences with all of them with you. And yeah, that's about it for today. Please let me know down below as well if you have any suggestions for me. Are there any other houses you would love to see me try? Are there any fairly safe blind buys you think I should just get and bring into my collection? Um, let me know your thoughts on everything and I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.